guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is seth and today's going to be a little bit of a different video actually i found my tripod so i've been using it more um today i'm going to be cleaning out my giant reticulated python enclosure and uh, i'm going to show you guys what goes into it uh, i'm not going to do everything today i'm just going to be changing his water but um i'm going to be organizing his bedding a little bit he's been a little grouchy because uh, it's breeding season, he wants to breed. He's been off food for about a month. Um, I don't recommend handling these guys without them being hook trained or without a hook. I know what I'm doing, so um, therefore, I mean, even when you do know what you're doing, it's still dangerous, but um, he's very tame with me. Uh, with that said, let's jump into the video and I'll show you guys what I gotta do. All right, guys, so I have I have two doors, one on that side, one on this side. And uh, what I do here, I come over here and grab my shot back. As long as he don't move, I don't even really have to take him out. But he's about to shed, I think. So, but he is a good boy wanted to show everybody what goes into this. Uh, it cost me about $400 to build this. Uh, it's still not done yet, so I don't want to hear no criticism in the comments, but everything is um, completely climate controlled. Humidity and everything. Speaking of which, before I do this, I have to go fill up this humidifier. Sorry about that, I'm back. I had to uh, fill up this humidifier. It's gotta be at, I keep it around uh, in between 65 and 70% humidity for this guy. And um, for the heat, I keep it uh, in between 80 and 86, and it automatically shuts off if it gets too hot. When it gets too cold, turns back on, whatnot. But with that said, I'm gonna vacuum out this whole real quick. I am back with the rag. Be right back. One second, guys. All right. That rag was dirty, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this out with a clean uh, face cloth. He's like a big teddy bear. All right, I gotta grab the bucket. I gotta go fill this up with water now.
Do the same thing again. All right, now for the second one. I gotta go grab my hook. So basically, uh, he does need new bedding. He's due for new bedding. I clean the bedding like maybe once every three months because uh, there's really no need to change it otherwise. Uh, a lot of people criticize using bedding like this because it can either get stuck in their mouth, which I have had happen, or um, the, you know a lot of people just use paper. Well, I like my reticulated python to be able to climb, which is, there's gonna be more logs over here. I've already treated the wood. Um, but it, like I said, it's still not done. It's a work in progress, but it's his for, forever home for now. So what I'm gonna do here, you guys like that little short video um that's the, the the life of having giant snakes um i'll do a little video on the female's tank when i go to do hers uh maybe i'll post that one next week there's really not much to do there that one's really not set up like this one is yet i'm still working on it but um i'll take you guys in real quick and i'll just show you her enclosure just so you guys this can see the female this is her enclosure She's a platinum, hat albino. And I gotta clean her water right now, but yep, that's and this is her tank. She's in there right now. <laughs> She's only six months old, seven months old now, maybe eight about, about four feet. I'll show you guys her later. I appreciate all you guys watching. Um, thank you for watching the whole thing. If you did, uh, leave a like, uh, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when I upload. I'll be doing more little projects like this soon around the house. Um, he's already loving his water. Look at this. That said, thank you everybody for watching. Till next time, see you later.